What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a PEZ 2021 option file tutorial where we're going to be showing you how to install V3 of the PEZ universe option file. So yes, we are back with PEZ 2021. This is a five league update. It's a huge project that the lads have been working on for the brand new season that is well underway now, right? So we're going to show you a couple of things to start off with before you get into actually installing the option file. The first thing obviously is going to be to boot up PEZ 2021 and go to edit mode. If you have, and I'll show you this in a second, if you have never actually installed an, an edit mode uh, option file before, you, when you go to edit mode here, you get a slightly different screen, but obviously because we've used edit mode before in this, we're gonna just have our edit data loaded. And what you're gonna need to do is for a fresh install, you're gonna need to go down to delete images here and delete everything in these folders. So delete all images in all of these folders that you're seeing on the screen here. Everything that you see, you will be reinstalling that for fresh. Once you've that done, you can simply just exit back out and then that is going to be fine there as well, right? Now, there's also a second thing that you need to do as well, which is uh, kind of where somebody, I think a lot of people kind of slip up. So we're actually going to go over here to our settings. We're going to go down to our storage here. We're going to go to our console storage and go to save data. And again, I promise it's not that complicated. We're going to go to PS4 games or else save data there. It depends. The PS4 game here. Um, and we're going to look for, because it is a PlayStation 4 game, we're going to go into this. We're going to click on this. And we're going to actually delete our edit data in this. So you click on that and you will simply delete that. Right? Now, why you actually delete that is, when I will show you on this screen, when I actually update the game here from our actual fresh account, I'm going to switch over to right here. Okay, so we're back here, right? And now we're going to have everything set up. If you've done the steps, when you go back into edit mode, once you've deleted that edit data file, when you go into edit mode here, it's going to actually ask you with a different screen that you first need to make an, 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 a new edit mode, a new edit mode data file, right? So we're just going to click yes on that. It'll create the edit data. And that means that you're going to be creating a brand new edit mode data for yourself that you're going to be able to tweak and obviously install the option file. A lot of people run into that issue there, but basically that cures a lot of issues if you are struggling with that. Now, also on top of that as well, if you've never imported an option file before, you will have to do a, a little tutorial here, right? Don't worry about that. It will just walk you through it. Just keep pressing X. Honestly, that's all you have to do. You just import all of this here and all of this here, all of this here, and it'll import it, right? That's fine, okay? It's just a tutorial, man. It's just going to overwrite this. It doesn't make any difference, right? But what I would say is if you are looking to free up a bit of space, um, you can obviously like delete that. And again, like what we did here, and I'm going to show you very quickly, when now we go into this, we're going to still have all our images in here. But if you want to delete any of them, you still can, because we obviously have created the brand new image data, right? When we go into the squad here, we will not have any of the teams. This is a brand new account. Look, so we have nobody, right? So if you go to Manchester United, they'll have their logo because they were licensed, but City won't. And also you'll notice the, the, the squads. So you'll see that the likes of Ferran Torres and Sterling are still with City um, and all those boys, Eric Garcia. These are basically the base squads that the teams had when the game launched and when the game had their last live data update, okay? So as I said, you'll see Fred is still there. You've got Pogba still at United and so on and so forth, okay? So what we're going to be doing is actually installing it. Now, we will need to actually download the option file to do that. So I'm going to switch over here. This is the website, obviously, the PES Universe V3 option file. Once you're logged in and signed up, you will be able to navigate here to the PES 2021 uh, hub and the tab. And all of these are going to be here. So there's going to be a new one here. Where you'll see new. And that's going to be the season update for V3. Um, and then also, you know, if you're looking to download option files for, you know, PES 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, or 2021 up to current season with PES 2021 and loads of legends and classic teams and his, you know, historic teams and iconic teams and retro teams and everything. There's literally, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of updates here within these updates. So you will be covered for the last five or six years of the PES series, okay? Once you download that, there is going to be instructions within the hub as well of what you do. You essentially download it, put it over onto a USB after you unzip it or after you... Um, extract the contents, put it onto a USB, it's a WePez folder, and then basically that's what you're going to be putting in. But as I said, that would be very self-explanatory when you are in the hub itself, even before you press the download button for it. But back to the game here, right? I just showed you that we don't have any of the logos here or anything like that, right? So as I said, if you go to Real Madrid here, you're going to see there's no Mbappe and it doesn't have the right kits. It doesn't have the right anything, right? So if you go in here and you look at the strip, it's going to be everything generic, right? Everything's going to be generic, okay? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to install it and I'm going to show you and really quicken up this video. Once we have the USB in our PS5, our PS4, and we've the, we've the WePez folder on it or the, the V3 option file on it, we're simply going to click export or import export right here. And of course, we're going to go to import competitions, okay? Now, when we go to import competitions here and we go to this screen here, we'll bring up our USB and then we will have all these competitions in here, right? So we're going to just select all these files. We're going to go to detail settings and we're going to go to OK. OK, and that's all. That's going to do its thing then, right? And I'll show you the screen here. Also, if you have previously installed V1 or V2, you can simply click this and it will just import over the image files without duplicating the image files. So if you have V1 or V2 already installed, this tutorial is also for you as well. So we're just going to click OK there and that's going to import very, very quickly. Now I'm going to skip ahead here. Now, once we finish that, I simply just like pause the video there while we were recording that. Now, when we go back out, we've imported the competitions. Now we're going to go back out and we're going to see we have all the emblems. So you can see here that we've everything here uh, with everything like Bundesliga, all that. OK, now we need to install the teams. OK, so simply save this here. We're going to save this data that we just created. So now we have our brand new edit data filled with the competition stuff. And now we're going to rinse and repeat. So we're simply just going to go back to teams. We're going to go back in here or sorry, we're going to go back to import export. We're going to go back to import teams. I'm going to click OK on this. I'm going to click on our USB again. And because these are a different file, as you see, instead of CED, we have .TED, which are TED files. We're just going to select all of these, okay? And you will see all of these here for everything that you see here, right? There's no real system that you need to install these in. Just install them, and I'll show you. I'll do a bit of troubleshooting as well. We're going to go to Detail Settings. Now, this is important. You need to click this Apply Player and Squad Data. If you don't, you won't get updated squads. So you saw in the start of this video or a couple of minutes ago, we showed you that Sterling was still at City, Pogba was still at United, we'd no kits on Madrid, blah, 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 blah. If, you've, if you want to click the both boxes, you can. You can always tick this second box. It won't overwrite what isn't there. And if you have something that's the same image file from a previous V1 or V2 option file, it will overwrite that. So you can simply click both of those boxes, click OK, and that's going to start the process here. Now you can go away, make a cup of tea, do a few push-ups, uh, you know, watch something on Netflix for 10 minutes or watch a couple of TikToks, watch a couple of my videos on YouTube, subscribe, or whatever you want to do. We're going to come back when this is installed. So let that run through. If you're into an error here, just make sure that you mark down, you shouldn't, but if you do, just do them in batch. Do them in like 520s or pick a league or a league or whatever, uh, league by league. So we're going to come back in a sec. All right, so we've just finished that. It'll say finished importing data. And then everything will be loaded here, right? Now, before we even do anything, we're just going to save here. Not load. Sorry, that would have been silly. Just save everything here. It'll overwrite the data. And this video is pretty much done now. But we're just going to show you a quick little preview of everything. Now, when we go into teams here, we already have the competition emblems. Now we have the team emblems. You'll see Aston Villa with their brand new squad and their brand new team. And we've got the current day squads as well. So if we go down to Chelsea now, if there is an issue with this, I'll show you in a second, right? I'm going to show you this issue here because of the way the structure is. This is one more thing we need to do before, okay? Because Leeds are obviously not in the Premier League at the moment. They're in the sky bit. But here with Leicester, right? Liverpool, City, all of these players that you see here will be right, right? So you'll see, you'll have no Pogba here. Um, there will be teams, as you see here in the Sky Bay Championship, if you go through here. Bournemouth and Brentford are going to be in there. And of course, we're also going to have Nottingham Forest, right? This is going to be the same for every single team. Within the option file itself, you are going to have a structure for each competition. So for example, for a team that's not in this Serie A, like Benevento, they will not be updated as of yet because they're a second division team or any of these. The Serie B teams will need to be brought over and that will be in the structure and there'll be pictures that you can literally just swap out, okay? This is most probably going to be notable in the Bundesliga when you have here because straight away in the Bundesliga, you'll say, who the hell are Lenger Blitz and where are Bayern München, right? So they're not there, okay? So where they are is they're in the other European leagues. So you will see Leverkusen there. You'll see Bayern there. And of course, you will see a couple of other bits into pieces. I know Schalke are not there, but you'll have Como from actual Serie A that needed to be created. So all the teams are here. So as I said, if you check for Real Madrid here, right? Real Madrid are now going to have Mbappe up front. They're going to have all their strips. They're going to have everything. Carlo Ancelotti there as well. And all the strips there, right? So what I will say is, what you need to do is, one more thing, is need to go back out to structure here. Competition structure. 
And for the case of the Bundesliga, you can change whatever team you want or any of the leagues here. So for Bayer Leverkusen to bring them over, you will simply bring them over in place of a team that is not in there. As I said, there will be images attached to the option file that you'll be able to open on your PC, your tab, or, or your tablet, or your uh, laptop, or your desktop, or your phone, or whatever, where all of these will be in the structure, like where it will show you exactly the structure, right? Now, also on top of that, with the Bundesliga for this one, you need to go down to draw size, you need to take the Bundesliga down to 18 teams, and then that's going to be your Bundesliga there, right? And then you can put these player or these teams wherever you want to put them. Like, it doesn't make a difference if you want to put, say, for example, uh, you know, Bayer Leverkusen up here. You can alphabetize it. It doesn't matter what you want to do. All the teams will be in there with the correct, uh, uh, correct squads and everything like that. And that's going to be the same for them all. So, for example, again, with this here in the Sky Bay Championship, we're going to bring over Bournemouth in place of Burnley. We're going to get rid of Leeds for Brentford and we're going to bring in Nottingham Forest for Sheffield. So again, you can alphabetize that if you want to. You can bring Brentford up here um, or whatever you want to do. But as I said, you will just simply have to follow this uh, tutorial to do all of this pretty easily and then you'll have everything updated. So West Brom as well that are going to be there. So whatever team is not going to be there, they will already have been created in this so it's not going to make too much of a difference right so if switch are going to come across as well and then you can just transfer them up as well if you want to it depends you can just leave them where you want if you replace a team but i like to kind of alphabetize everything there um just to have it a lot cleaner right so that's pretty much it lads then you can just go out and you can start your master league or whatever that is pretty much the installation once you exit out of this make sure you save it when everything is done and you've all the competition structure done and you've all the players and the teams over um, and also make sure as well, if you are running into an issue or anything like that, for the case of in the other European leagues here, right, you will have a team like Como who are going to be in the Syria, right? You will need to bring them out of the Syria because if you start a master league with any of the teams that you see here, that's going to be what you get basically. So you need to do all the, the all of this stuff needs to be done before you start anything basically, if that makes sense. Anything that you're doing needs to be done um, before you start like whatever you're going to be doing with your Master League or whatever like that, okay? If you start a Master League, it's actually going to like save everything in here. So whatever you start with and whatever you see in this edit mode screen is going to be the data that they carry into any of the leagues, any of the cups, any of the Master League. So there's no point you starting a Master League with a team missing or, you know, Monza not in this league or Como not in this league in the Serie A and being five or six matches deep into a Master League, and then you realize, oh, I never brought Como over. So make sure you do all of that. It's fairly easy to do. It's very simple, actually. And then overwrite that, save that, and that is going to be V3 fully in. So lads, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you're still playing PES 2021, and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.